welcome Aries this is the Taurus um, season reading I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back it is uh, um, the time of the second house the Taurus season is the energy of the second house and the energy of the second house is about your materialistic financial stability and I see that a lot of you are going to be having issues on the work floor so ladies and gentlemen before I do remember you need to choose a crystal of two you can choose one or another crystal to see just what um, come out at you choose one of these crystal all right ladies and gentlemen let's see what is happening and transpiring we have the energy of the six of swords and the energy of the six of swords have to do with ending and as you come into the story season with begin april 20th until may 20th um you are dealing with some sort of an ending a lot of you who were dealing with a pisces cancer or scorpion person I see some sort of an ending is coming up for them at the workplace. I see that now they're recognizing um, that this person um, skills and knowledge is not fitting um, the um, position that they're in. So there is some sort of a problem um, that is there that is affecting a Pisces cancer or a scorpion person at the workplace. So um whatever has happened and transpired some sort of an ending is coming up for this person and it could be that some of you have been dealing with this person for quite some time and there has been some sort of an issue that has not been uh resolved between you and this person and i see some sort of an ending is going to be coming in then when we look in the second week we see that this person is hoping um, you know, for a better um, teamwork, okay? And a lot of you are like, you know, it's a little bit too late because a decision is already made over you. Um, whoever this person is, um, they are the one that is going to be leaving um, because of uh, uh, some sort of a situation where you guys um, recognize that this person have not been a, a team player. So I see that um, a lot of people have um, decided to um, stand down and let this person go, okay? So um, this is going to be coming out. When we look at the third week, we have the Eight of Pentacles. And in the third week, it is going to be affecting a lot of you on the work floor. Um, some of you, it could be that you are self-employed or some of you are freelancers. And I see that this um, is going to be where a lot of you are going to be very, very busy in the third week. In the fourth week, we see some um, uh, missed opportunities for a lot of you. Whatever is happening and transpiring, a lot of you are going to be recognizing that you miss some sort of opportunity that could have taken you far and um, whatever the reason that you have chosen not to go that direction um a lot of you could have a rethink a situation um and recognize that um the decision to move forward is not the right thing for you okay so there we are seeing a, that a lot of you a lot of you are going to be focusing recognizing understanding that sometimes it's better to stay put now with this um that means it is a um going to be a, a, a sure situation that a lot of you are going to just remain in where you are and that is the most um important thing for you in this tourist season because it's about um your finance it's about your money and that is where it's going to be all right so let's look at this the six of swords mercury in aquarius mercury in aquarius and the energy of mercury in aquarius what we're recognizing is that a whole lot of communication so this is what i was saying to a lot of you there could be someone on the work floor um that has been not a team worker 
and it has created a whole lot of uh, um, instability um, between um, uh, colleagues and has been accessing and carrying out. For some of you also, it could be that you're leaving, you're communicating that you are leaving um, your function or your position um, to start something else. So it is about communication at the workplace. It's about communication in business. It's about communication. And this communication is about you leaving or you're changing position or um, you're communicating um, that you're about to leave. So um, that sort of a situation can be coming up in the first week. And the first week is from the 20th of April until the 26th. Now we're looking at the second week and the second week is from the 27th of April until the 3rd of May. And I see positive emotions um, that is going on. Um, this positive emotion have uh, um, to deal with uh, um, the princess of uh, cups and the princess of cups is air in water. Now air in water this could be a very talkative person. Whoever this person is, is very talkative, is very um, um, complexity, um, want to create and uh, state uh, um, themselves. And some of you are just not happy. Some of you are like, um, you know, it's good. All talking and not doing anything. That's another situation. So I see that this could be a situation where you recognize that this person is trying um, to get themselves out of something and a whole lot of talking, but um, nothing is coming up. And you are like, you know, it is better for you to be quiet because the more you talk is the more um, that things are not resolving. Okay. It's as if this person is creating some sort of an energy. The more they talk, the more things are not resolving. And I see that some of you are recognizing, um, let it go. Let it go. It's better for you to just stop talking. A lot of you are going to be emotional balanced, and that is good. Um, and uh, um, it's a positive energy where you feel very good at work in this week. For whatever the reason is, you are really uh, getting up out of bed and really looking forward to a wonderful day because you could have been um, dealing with um, issues the week before, and now you're letting it go and moving on and this feels good so this is really a positive sense of uh, some sort of a creation and a whole lot of you are dealing with a, um, a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion as we look at the third week the third week is from the 4th of May until the 10th of May and this is the week of the hate of Pentacles Sun in Virgo and this is really really wonderful and really positive this energy of the sun in Virgo is uh, really giving you a passy. It's as if you feel the passion. You feel the passion of what you're doing. You're totally, completely connected with what you're doing. You're understanding where you are. You're understanding that what you're doing is creating some sort of a, a significant change for other people, but also for yourself. It is some where some of you, um, it's a very, very busy week, a very, very busy time, but it is a week where a lot of you are going to be focusing and, uh, you know, giving your 100%, being very passionate with whatever you're doing at the workplace and feeling that inner happiness and joy. And that is going to be good. Virgo, um, the sun in Virgo is always a really positive sign um, that you are now um, returning to normal. Let's say that you had started a job and uh, uh, or you started some sort of a project or you are um you know focusing on um self you're self-employed and you're focusing on the project that you are working on and really connecting in a really positive way so that is uh, extremely extremely good so that is um really positive as we look at the fourth week the fourth week is from may 11th until may 20th we have the Ten of Cups in the reverse, Mars in Pisces, Mars in Pisces. So um, there is uh, some sort of an issue that is going to be coming up and uh, um, 
this energy of Mars in Pisces is about something that some of you had hoped to receive, but it is not going to be happening. Okay, so let's say that some of you were hoping um, to apply and receive some sort of a um, job interview or you had apply and it is not, um, you're not going to be receiving. Some of you could have applied to change position department and it's not going to be happening so it is a situation where something that you were open for mars and pisces is about some sort of a transformation so you could have been interviewed by a pisces person or um you could have uh, recognized that a pisces person is uh, going to be having an upper end over you aries whatever has happened and transpired a lot of you Aries are recognizing that a Pisces person um, is going to be receiving some sort of a promotion or some sort, something that you have wanted. Some of you, a Pisces person, you could have hoped that a Pisces person um, is going to be um, really connecting and working together with you. And that's not um, what is happening because this person might pull out at the last moment so you gotta be aware of this i see the ending is coming in for a pisces person whoever the pisces person is um some of you the pisces person um could be working with you they could be leaving or letting you know that they are leaving um or you know whoever the pisces person is there is some sort of an issue or problem at work for them so they could be um receiving some sort of an ending for them at the workplace so you gotta be aware of this but it's going to be a young pisces a woman however this is happening and transpire it is really going to be a woman so some sort of an ending um is going to be coming up but it has nothing to do with you aries it has uh, um, more to do with people and some of you that was hoping for some sort of a um, promotion or position, um, it's not going to be happening for you, Aries, okay? So it is a sense of you um, using the, the symbols in order to pick one of the symbols to see what is going to be happening and how you're going to be resolving that issue. And this is going to be really positive. I do love you guys. I got to go, but I'm saying namaste until next time. Ooh.